Okay and guys, just realised black is probably not the best surface to do this on. Okay, that's a bit better. It's a bit dark now. I think I need some brighter bulbs. Right then, ignore that. I was brushing off my towel. Right then, I've decided I'm going to start on the uh, duh, 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 low C micro crawler. Brought all my tools, solder, everything in. This is my new tool kit, guys. All my RC tool kit. Weighs 10 kilos. <laughs> that is mostly because I have 14, count them, 14 batteries in there. But hey ho. Yes, so I've decided I'm going to start on this and I'm determined I want this to be a Land Rover D90, though I can't find any 124th scale or thereabouts D90 body shells. So I'm going to have to possibly make it. We'll see how we go. I might find one, I don't know. But yes, so I want this to be a D90. One, because I do love the D90, and if I get a small one, that'll kind of feed that desire for having one so it'll then stop me wanting the big one which costs like 600 quid that i can't afford so yes and also this has got quite limited articulation you know um it's not bad don't get me wrong it's not bad articulation but it is quite limited but then it is only small so i figure if i make it into a d90 they don't have stupid articulation anyway now i do lack some parts i lack the mini servo um i've got an esc uh, I'm not sure if it's working or not. We will find out. I've got it in the bag just there. Um, so first priority is get it running. There's a motor. Um, I've got the ESC. I've got no radio gear. So, dun, 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 I've decided I'm going to pull this apart. Um, I do like this. It can be quite fun. Bouncy, stupid little thing. But it's also kind of crap. I mean, it's that fast. Excuse the notification coming through there. It's that fast that you can't really control it. It's so small and light and bouncy. You just zip it around on the floor and drain the battery. And to be fair, I've stripped the diff inside it. And I've currently got it held together with bits of tape and all sorts trying to make it stick. And this is actually really tight. And I've ended up locking it trying to fix it. This thing shreds tires like nobody's business as well. I've only had possibly... I'd say a total of about 40 minutes run time out of those, I kid you not. Shreds tyres like anything. So, yeah, I figure I'm not really using this. And it's on the old 27 megahertz system. So, yeah, I'm going to pull this apart. Dun, 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 starting right this second with the body shell, the body pins. Get rid of that. And I'm going to try and fit this into there. Now I've got a sneaky feeling that the servo and uh, the ESC is all one, I'm not sure, we'll see, I don't know, I can see a servo wire there, so hopefully it's not, hopefully it's just a micro servo, and I'll be able to mount it, but we'll see how we go, watch this space guys, I'm going to keep it as uh, 27 megahertz, because I can't be bothered to do anything else with it, I'm just going to see if I can essentially take the guts out of this, slap it straight in there, and see if it works, the motor looks the same size, so I don't think there should be any problems with the motor. Uh, I'll be able to run it off the LiPo that's in there. Uh, I'll be able to replace the broken shock on this one with one of these rear shocks because they're quite long. So yeah, watch this space guys. Okay, so here's where we're up to so far. Uh, that's pretty well stripped. Shell, screws, shocks. Sadly the shocks are far too short for this by a long, long shot. Um, but we have the electric sat on there with a the battery, mini lipo, and dun, 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 we have working servo. Now it's not the best in the world, in that it's not the greatest fit in the world, been a little bit retrofitted. The steering range is good, as you can see. Uh, power wise, no, I've not tried that. Let's have a try. Hold it with the camera. Uh, no, it's kind of got a bit of. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, let's pop the camera down. I don't think I can show you. <coughs> okay, so there's a fair bit of power in the steering. Oh, 
the greatest, but I'll take it off this. There's more throw one way than the other when it's sat still. And obviously when it's moving that will increase. So for the time being not bad, I mean I will get a micro servo. But when I get a micro servo, I'll have to replace these electrics as well. I've got an ESC, but I don't know if that works or not. This at the moment, you know, it's nice and small, compact. And that's the ESC, radio gear and the servo controller all in one. So it kind of works for now, it'll do. Uh, all I've got to do is wire in the motor, which should be that easy. I'm just going to take the plug off that and solder it onto the, uh, the motor, which is down there. Then plug it in here and it should work. We'll see. And if it does, that will be the basics done. Um, shocks. Shocks are something I've got to sort. We've got a, a broken shock, one missing. They are, it hasn't got any springs on it. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to just try and get hold of the lossy micro shocks. But we'll work from there. That's it for now. Check it out. It's alive! It's alive! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's a screw pot. Didn't want to do that. Oh no. Let's try again. Let's try that the other way up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Test two. Okay, so it can get over that. And it's taken on that too. Oh. Oh yes. Go on, get grip, get grip. Yeah, we've got a grip. That's it, servo isn't the strongest. And sometimes the servo needs movement in order to help it respond. But, do you know what? I am suitably impressed. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably going to get a new servo, just so that I can use the ESC, the original ESC. But then I'm going to have to put on a uh, transmitter, a receiver as well. But do you know what? For the time being, I'm impressed. And you know what? It has a fair turn of speed. It. Oh, it's stuck on the plug, he's going to have it. Another thing with this server, uh, this receiver as well, this um, electric setup, yes, see, there's a, um, a brake, a brake on forward and reverse, which is rather annoying. But there you go, guys, it works. Just got to get myself a D90 body shell now. Later.